Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster. We're continuing with our Berserker and we've uh, swapped in the Spellweaver because the Scoundrel has made it to level 4. Uh, so on, on this, uh, I'm thinking if we head north this time, um, try and deal with the cult, we're getting quite close to where the Spellweaver's next uh, like story quest is. I think that's um, that's going to be a pretty good option for us to try and move towards. Uh, before we do that, let's just have a very quick look in the trainer and see what we need to do for any more perks on the Spellweaver. I'll just scroll down to the bottom and we'll work our way up from there. Okay, we've got to recover burned cards. Yeah, that's the first one. So recover burn cards 30 times. We've already done it five times. That's that's going to take a while to do, but we will get there. We need to infuse 100 elements. We're about a third of the way through that one. And the other one we might be done with already. Yeah, the other one we're done with already. So that gives us an idea of what we're going to be focusing on. Right back to the north so faith of the faithless the cult has continued to thrive and now rule over this woodland community we need to kill two cultists or cultist elites in order to win and uh, by the looks of it <laughs> there is none in here so this is going to be in a very interesting one but this will unlock east grove and we need east grove to be unlocked before we can do dealing with demons The cultists have taken over an abandoned crypt on the outskirts of East Grove and have the local population terrified of their magic. You've been asked to take on the cultists and leave the town at midnight. Under the cover of darkness, you head to the crypt with the plan of catching the inhabitants unawares. Gain seven or fewer experience. Layabout is a good one because we're not doing a lot of stuff that gets us experience. So let's go for layabout. And the Spellweaver, loot no gold piles. Yeah. We'll try and keep the Spellweaver off the money and just have the Berserker go around and, and grab everything. Inevitably, I'm going to forget that, but uh, hopefully we remember. The cavern is guarded by demons and spirits, but you must venture forth to help the inhabitants of East Grove. So what have we got? We have, it looks like, three rooms connected together. This one has a plain living spirit and a sun demon, which has innate shield, innate advantage. So we really want this thing gone ASAP. The Living Spirit has more shield. I'm going to get Cauterize on both of them actually. Um, but if we go for Resolute Stand, we can perhaps step in close to this one and just trap it in the corner. Get some retaliation on it. In terms of the Spell Weaver, Flashing Burst is a good solid hit and that means we get to save fire orbs for the next next big room because fire orbs with a target of three is and actually this this is kind of interesting for me we've got we've got a choice to make if we go for fire orbs, it is a really good, good attack. It's going to be three damage. It will kill this one and severely damage that one. It's not going to put a wound on at this stage. 
do we have a yeah flame strike is where we would get the wound but if we're doing cauterize over here then we don't really need it i think it's it's probably the smart play at this point kill this before it has a chance to act okay so that that's the plan we're going to get a wound on both of them which is going to be kind of irrelevant for this one when it dies we're going to use the piercing bow as our one and done maybe we don't use the piercing bow maybe we just rely on the fact that fire orbs is is three damage and it's going to do enough yeah let's not use the piercing bow because we can we can use the eagle eye goggles for the advantage and that's that's where it's kind of going to come in super useful and they're moving a little bit slowly but that's fine okay so first of all unfortunate that it was that way around but what are you going to do uh, we will step in just to here get the self retaliation going and let's uh, let's get cauterized back Fire orbs. Uh, fire orbs with advantage. I would love to be able to shoot them twice with this. One dead. And we did damage and we cursed him. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's not get the money. But, uh, in fact, let's undo that. What are you going to do? You're going to move to... Yeah, we'll... We'll just keep away from him. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Alright. Next up. We should be able to... Where's unbridled power? There we go. We hit... Uh, let's say bounce back an unbridled power do a massive smack on this and kill it and then uh, move across and grab this that means we're free to push into the next room with something that moves us a little bit slower or faster maybe let's Let's go really slow. Reviving Ether and Flame Strike. Try and take advantage. We're going to burn that fire, so that's not going to work. Uh, flashing Burst. Plain, plain damage output. That's what we'll do. Yeah. So, Unbridled Power. And it's going to get a stun on him. And we've got advantage from last turn. He's going to die on his turn. We're not going to grab all the gold. We're just going to move on. Let's see what's in the next room. Okay, there is a cultist already. So these are going to move one and then attack one against everyone who's close by. What are you going to do? You're going to do some self-healing. Yeah, this room would have been better for fire orbs. Not going to lie. It's going to be fine. Let's, uh, let's focus on the cultist. good really good start to this and then we could be invisible that wouldn't be the worst plan
Oh yeah, I forgot about the one. I was like, what the hell's going on in the other room? But yeah, he just he just died, didn't he? That's fine. Okay. Um. Fatal Fury would allow us to just kill this guy. And just just be done with him. Which is a very smart smart plan. We don't have a move with a jump. On the bottom, Flame Strike lets us attack. And Cold Fire would also let us attack. And maybe we'll um, we'll roll high. Let's let's try and move slowly and let a lot of these do their thing. Which would also involve like him coming in a little bit closer potentially. So if we try and move as slowly as possible. But still faster than our friend. Yeah, all right, we'll try that. Good, they can't target our invisible friend. Ooh. Armor doing what it should. And this is great. Ooh. He's coming close enough that we can just kill him and then move past him. A little bit of healing there is annoying, but it's fine. Right, so Fatal Fury. Oh, is this... Oh, no, we can't can't do that. Ah, uh, right. Undo. Fine, we'll do it the other way. We've got to whittle him down, um, and our health needs to be lower, is the short of it. Which then, this then becomes a lot more dangerous, but it's fine. Um, so we want to hit you even though we've got disadvantage. And probably... I wish you were closer. At least that did a bit of damage. Uh, you know what, don't heal just yet. try and hit these three. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. Okay, right. Um, we can use Cauterize to start getting wounds out on on these guys. And we can do Furious Aid to heal ourselves up a little bit. Over here we're going to have to move slowly so this is going to be painful. But it might be time to get a Mystical Ally out. Uh, the cultist is summoning bones. We don't like that. Let's get these two. 
two at least dying. painful oh my god all right uh let's lose cold fire and frost armor yeah heal yourself up a little Start coming around. We are getting so unlucky with these uh, these rolls. Okay, let's say from the brink and numb the pain. And over here, we're going to have to do a short rest. I'd rather not lose frame, flame strike. But if I re-roll, we could use, uh, we could lose reviving ether. So we'll burn flame strike. I think we're going to have to do reviving ether. Okay, move into here. Push you away a little bit. Take, take a little bit of damage right now in order to get the shield. That's a big hit. It's not quite enough. Doing moving to and attacking to. He won't be able to move that way. If we come over here, he'll try and come towards us. Very painful. Uh, we'll burn Defiance of Death. Oh my word. Game, stop it. Uh, let's lose Pride the Wind. Okay. It's going to have to be a short rest on the Berserker. I do not want to lose Cauterize, but we don't have a choice. Okay, we are definitely doing Fire Orbs uh, and Frost Armor. So we're going to use Frost Armor to move around. And then we're going to Fire Orbs at range 4, which will allow us to hit, hit, and hit. And we are definitely going to penetrate the shield for this. I wish I'd stayed one, one space closer. Because that could have worked out better for us. But it is what it is. Uh, over this side. We could do. 
resolute stand to attack this guy. And then bounce back. All fatal fury to attack and then retreat. Yeah, let's let's try that. Or attack and then move forward and then attack again. And then we'll just burn cards to deal with the potential fallout. He's probably going to die. He's probably going to die. He's going to be injured. So you're the threat. So not Fatal Fury. Furious Aid. That's what we'll do. So Resolute Stand. Attack 12. It's the biggest hit we've uh, potentially got. little bit of healing. Spellweaver. The maximum we can do. Okay, we are 50% of the way towards victory. This guy is going to heal himself up a little. I feel like we are getting very unlucky with a lot of these uh, these rolls. Okay, bounce back moves this in, and we can fatal fury him. That's what we'll do. We'll just step in and we'll Fatal Fury it. Flame Strike lets us attack. Cold Fire lets us attack. gaining experience this way, which is not part of our original plan. That's fine. We can... Oh, that's not fine. That is... That is very frustrating. Right. Flame strike. Let's get a wound on him. And then... I think we need to back up. From the brink and break the chains will allow us to move in and like pull this guy potentially or damage him a little bit. Uh, we're going to do a long rest to try and bide our time over here. Shielding and healing again. Dude, you need to stop with the healing of the wounds. Come here. And I think we will lose cold fire. Numb the pain and unbridled power. We'll do what we can there. I think we're going to have to... Use Flame Strike to move a bit closer. 
Frost Armor and Flame Strike, maybe attack him and just move up to the door, and then when we open this room, we'll we'll do what we can with Flashing Burst. That really wasn't very helpful. I did say we would move towards the door. Go for the bigger hit. It's the smarter choice. Okay. Long rest on the Berserker, get the cards back. We'll move in and we'll shoot whatever we can. There's the other cultist. Uh, this is range four. One, two, three, four. So we could back up a little. What's the cultist going to do? He's going to move one, attack two, and heal. So he's going to heal up a little. How about the other things? Is it better for us to be in the doorway? Move three, attack four. So he's, he's going to get in the doorway and block us. What are you doing? Move one, attack two, range four. I think it's actually better for us to step into the room. In order to keep the room clear. Let's try and get the advantage hit over here. Burn two discarded cards. Let's lose these two because we are passing the time here. That's what we're trying to do. Is enough for the Berserker to make it in. So how how are we gonna kill this thing in time? Uh, we need to move one, two, three, four in order to get in, or pull him closer with break the chains. So let's say we're gonna pull him closer with break the chains. It is range three. So if we, if we get to here with something like bounce back, we could pull him in. Yeah. And then he's standing in the doorway and then we're just wailing on him as much as we can. So let's lose on Void of Power because that's our slowest card. Let's get as much healing out as we can right now. So bounce back, break the chains. He's going to summon the living bones, which is not necessarily terrible for us, depending on where he summons it. I've got you. And... May as well hit the other one as well. That's a good hit. Pull him to here. Uh, skip the pull. That was expected. That was a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to burn a card for Arthur and take that. Um, ooh. These are all good cards. So 
because I could use Fatal Fury to just kill this thing. But really, we want the focus to be on the guy. And it's normal enemy, not elite enemy. But Fatal Fury is going to allow us to attack him twice and then numb the pain. And then we should be done. So let's lose... In fact, you know what we could do from the brink. Let's lose... Let's lose numb the pain. What? No way. Right. So from the brink, Fatal Fury are going to be the cards we used to attack. Let's burn Furious Aid. From the brink, Fatal Fury. That is really annoying. Okay. Oh, I don't think we can do it. Unless he kills himself, now he's going to heal himself. It was so oh. close. We've just not got enough in the tank. Oh. Short rest. We could try again. Bounce back Fatal Fury. That's a hit. God damn it, game. We are going to fall unconscious. I think we have to survive the turn. Burn from the brink. Burn those. Stop rolling plus ones. Does it count as a victory? We did the mission. No. Oh. So, so blooming close. Oh, we're going to have to try that again. I definitely could have run that a lot better, but look at these stats on the Berserker. Jeez. Okay, well, over at the trainer. Kill 10 some demons. Yeah, sure, we'll take the rewards on that. We're, we're going to have to try again for certain. And we didn't even get that much money from it either. What a shame. What a shame. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise... I'll see you next time for another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster. See you soon.